Okay, did you guys enjoy this story? Oh my gosh, you guys all have spots. Hi, I'm here to drop off my daughter at daycare. Oh, hi there, Ellie. Oh, is there something on her face? Yeah, we think it's like a bump or something. She'll be fine. Now go play Ellie. Okay, bye, Mom. Hey, guys. Sorry I'm late. Ellie, you almost missed all of playtime. Yeah, there's only a little time left. Oh, it's okay. What are you guys doing? We're building a puzzle. But what's on your face? Um, I don't know. My mommy said it's just a bump or something. It doesn't look like a bump. Yeah, it kind of looks like a chicken pox. I don't have chicken pox. Okay, whatever you say. Girls, it's time to clean up. We're going to do story time now. We're going to pick out a book, and I'm going to read to you guys. So please clean up all the toys so we can do story time. Okay, miss. Okay. Okay, girls, is everything all cleaned up? Yeah, we put away all the toys. Oh, great job. But I think we're missing somebody. Where's Ellie? Oh, she's still at the dollhouse. I don't know what she's doing. I'll go get her. Ellie, come on. We're going to start reading time now. Oh, oh, okay. What were you doing? Um, my spot is just a bit itchy. Oh. Hmm. Okay, let's go do story time. Oh, there you are, Ellie. And oh, you got another one of those spots. I do? Yeah, you got another big one right here. What are they? I'm not sure. Your mommy said they might be bumps, but whatever. I think you'll be fine. Let's just start reading time. So for today's story, we'll do... Peppa's Giant Pumpkin Day, since it's now fall and Halloween is coming up soon. The book is shaped like a pumpkin. Yeah, it's called Peppa's Giant Pumpkin. That's Okay, why. so I'm going to start reading. You guys all pay attention and please no talking. Today is Halloween. The children are having a pumpkin competition. Everyone has their pumpkins ready to decorate, except for Peppa Pig's pumpkin. It's still growing at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. After school, Granny and Grandpa Pig take Peppa to see how big her pumpkin has grown. It's the biggest pumpkin in the world, says Peppa. Granny Pig and Grandpa help Peppa decorate the pumpkin and turn it into a jack-o'-lantern. And it has a piggy nose. Yeah, they carved a little piggy nose. Okay, next page. Uh-oh, the pumpkin is too big to fit into the car. How will they get it to the contest now? Grandpa Pig knows just who to call for help. Miss Rabbit comes to the rescue. She flies her helicopter and lifts the giant pumpkin into the sky. <gasps> you have a spot! What? Oh, uh, Zoe, please no interrupting. We're doing story time now. No talking, please. But look, she has a spot like Ellie. <gasps> oh, that is weird. She has one just like Ellie. What is it? Um, I'm not sure. But let's just continue with story time, okay? All right, next page. The children in Peppa's class have decorated their pumpkins. They wonder where Peppa is. Suddenly, they hear a funny noise outside. It's Peppa's flying pumpkin. Yippee, cries the class. Peppa made it to the pumpkin competition just in time. The prize for the best flying pumpkin goes to Peppa, says Madame Denzel. Peppa loves Halloween. Happy Halloween. The end. Okay, did you guys enjoy this story? <gasps> oh my gosh, you guys all have spots. We all have spots now? Yeah, and you got two more. You have four, you have four, you have four, you have three, and you have two. Okay, this is getting really weird. I think I'm going to need to call a doctor. Hi, I came as soon as I can. Where are they? Right behind you. Oh, wow. It looks like we got a huge case of the chicken pox here. The chicken pox? Yep, that's right. The red spots on your face, they come when you're sick and they can spread, which I see happen. Oh, yeah. Well, her mom dropped her off at daycare today and she had one spot and we didn't think anything of it. We just thought it was like a bump or something. 
Oh, no, 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 no. This is not a bump. These are chicken pox. And it looks like it spread to the whole class. So let me go get my doctor bag. Okay, I'm back and I've got lots of things. I got a thermometer, lots of tissues, a big jar of medicine because you're all gonna need some. So let's get you all some medicine. Okay, so who would like to go first? Uh... Okay, nobody wants to go first, that's fine. How about you first, Ellie, since you're the one who was first sick? No, I don't like medicine. Oh, great. Okay, how about you, Zoe? No, I don't like medicine, it tastes yucky. Okay, guys, you need to take the medicine, it's gonna make you feel better. Oh, and I have an idea. Whoever takes their medicine like a good girl gets a sticker. Oh, me. Okay, okay, you gotta take your medicine first. Okay, Zoe is volunteering to go first, so you just need a little bit. Okay, ready, Zoe? Mm, yeah. I'll give you a sticker after this. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> Ew! See, but it's all done now. You drink your medicine and then now you'll start feeling better. Here, have some milk. It will help the taste go away. And let me go get your sticker. Here, I'm gonna give you this one, A plus, because you got an A plus. You took your medicine like a good girl. You didn't spit any out. So there you go. Good job, Zoe. Oh, it's stuck on my glove. There you go. Thank you. Okay, girls, who wants a sticker? Me! Okay, well, let's get you your medicine then, and then you all get stickers. Okay, and finally, Miss Ellie, who started it all? You ready for your medicine? Um, okay. You'll get a sticker after this, so here we go. Three, two, one. Spit! <coughs> okay, don't spit it out, almost done. There you go. Yucky! I know, but here, let's get you your sticker for doing such a good job. Okay, now that everybody's got their medicine, you guys need some rest. Doctor, I think I'm gonna be sick. You're gonna be sick? Oh no. Blech. Oh, oh no. Okay, we need to clean you up. Ew. Don't worry, girls, I got napkins. Let's clean you up and we need to get you away from everyone else. Okay, we need to go get you to another crib so you can get some rest because that is what you need. Okay. All right, let's go get you some rest. And here, have some water too. That should help. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. There you go. And you can just take that to the bed. Okay, now the rest of you, you guys also need to get some rest too. Oh, but we only have one crib, so it looks like we're just gonna have to call your parents to send you guys home. Because we can't have you all you guys staying in the same crib, you're just gonna be more and more sick. So let me go call all your parents so you guys can get home and get better. Hey Zoe, oh my goodness, what happened? Oh, hi there, are you Zoe's mom? Yes, I came to pick her up. Yeah, well, everybody got sick because she came in today with some chicken pox and she didn't know what it was. She thought it was like a bump or something. And as you can see, it spread to everybody. So we just thought it would be better if we got everybody home so they can all be taken care of and not just getting all sick everywhere. Oh, okay. And did Zoe have some medicine? Yeah, but I think she needs to go home and get some rest. Okay, I think so too. Come on, Zoe. I'm itchy. Okay guys, I got Zoe home and she's just laying in bed getting some rest, but I got this little sick table for her. And she hasn't had lunch yet today, so I thought some alphabet soup would be perfect because soup is good when you're sick. Oh, and I love soup. Perfect, there you go. I also got you some tissues in case you've got a runny nose. And if you start sneezing, there you go. And I got some more medicine I need to give you after you eat. 
but hopefully after some rest and some more medicine she should be all good all right guys well that was it for this video thank you so much for watching please make sure to like this video and subscribe and check out more of our videos that's right make sure to check out more of our videos i have so many awesome videos up on my youtube channel you guys should check them out anyways thanks so much for watching bye